Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley P. Deck, and today we'll be doing a very easy beginner friendly lace wig install. Now this one comes courtesy of Ronnie Hair and what they sent over is this beautiful curly wig. She's a five by five Swiss lace closure wig. So this is gonna be one of the ones where you can easily put it on and off and you don't have to do like the in ear to ear install. It's definitely fitting me glueless. It's also very nice and thick. It's 180% density, absolutely gorgeous. And I love the fact that you can switch it up. Even though this is like a bang, since you have that five by five closure, you know, you can do like a side part and kind of like slick it down. You can do some like cornrows to the back. You can definitely do a few different styles if you want to just take a break from the bang. But right now with all the, the weather around the United States going on, even here in California, it's been snowing, even though I haven't seen it where I live so far yet. This is definitely one of the ones that's going to be easy for me to throw on in the mornings and just go because again, it's a closure and it fits glueless. And then I don't have to worry about any of the leave out of my own natural hair. It's definitely giving natural and I love the vibe. Okay, ladies, before we do the install, I really wanted to show you this really quickly. I show you this later in the video, but I'm pretty sure the company is going to want to see this in the beginning. So why not? do it for you guys this is the this is the lace here and as I mentioned in the intro this is Swiss lace look how beautiful that is I'm gonna go ahead and install it here because the lace on this one has a very gorgeous hairline it's pre plucked perfection and it also again is a really 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 nice skin melt Swiss lace so it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous and as you guys can see it blends with my complexion my skin seamlessly perfectly you're gonna see all that in just a moment but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the install jumping right into it this is the wig straight out of the box she is a pre-plucked curly bang lace wig the lace is absolutely gorgeous and she definitely came with an adjustable elastic band i love that this one is a closure wig but they do offer a lace frontal option if that is what you choose you guys know i'm a bust down middle part kind of girl i'm a closure girl so this one was the perfect option for me here I am showing you that pre plucked lace it's absolutely gorgeous and you can definitely choose some different styles like cornrows or just little two ponytails or different little creative ways to absolutely use that lace in the front here I am showing you the free goodies that were included in my box I got some wig caps a comb and some clips next I am taking a little drink break I love a good diet sprite even though I know diet drinks are not that best for us but what really is good for us these days here I am showing you the parting space you do get five inches of parting space going backwards so again you can utilize that parting and just get creative and find ways to like push the hair back if you want a break from the bang here I am removing the excess lace using an eyebrow razor and I really wanted to show you an emphasis on how beautiful the lace on this one is she's a 5x5 five five HD lace closure wig she's 18 inches in length and it's 180% density the Swiss HD lace is my favorite feature because it definitely gives a natural vibe to this wig now you guys can see how well this one fit on my head it wasn't loose it didn't buckle it wasn't bulky at all you definitely can and should wear this one glueless and just utilize that advantage I did bond her down just to kind of show you guys like you can definitely get away with doing different styles with your bang wigs don't just wear it for a bang like for a year straight do some different things and have fun and get creative and that's to me how you definitely get your money's worth in your investment now this is what the hair looks like when it's damp i did want to show you guys again the parting space and how you know you can move each piece to the side you can even take those bangs and like tuck them behind the ear i was trying to savage the hair or salvage it rather and not cut any of that length off but to be honest it was way too long for me i think that's great because there are a lot of women out here with different shaped heads in mind who will need all of that so they made the bang the length that I like it definitely may be the wrong length for others so it kind of is a one size fit most you can definitely finesse by pulling or pushing the wig backwards to not have to cut the lace but because I did bind it down in the appropriate um, way on my head I did end up having to go in and cut off that bang and make it a little bit shorter so that I can see now I'm just picking the hair out and I'm again I'm just so amazed at how beautiful the lace is i didn't tint the lace i didn't add any concealer or powder this is just naturally what they provided 
Now, I did not want to go for a Rick James look, so I definitely wanted to pull the hair out and just see what it gave. Look how beautiful the cut is. When you see natural girls, this is the, the shape that their hair a lot of time is cut in when it's cut professionally. I did go in and do the dynamic duo on the lace area. Uh, you know, just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is about me. I'm just a creature of habit and I really wanted that and I do like the way it came out because I did want it to be flat but I did use the back of the electric hot comb rather than like the front or the combs because I didn't want to cancel out the wave pattern and more so just make everything a lot more flat up top so it just doesn't look too wiggy on me. Now I'm going in and defining the bangs and I just was taking my time because again I wanted more of this kinky like large like big natural hair look I didn't want the Rick James super curly defined s curl look so I was trying to take my time and find a way to go about it without uh you know making that mistake of doing the Rick James so I did add the mousse all throughout but again I didn't want it overly saturated I didn't want the shiny defined look I wanted a little bit of kink in there so I did go in again and add the mousse but as you guys can see I kind of left it kind of full and free in a way opposed to brushing it in and then I just went in and defined the ends and I just took large um, like clumps of the hair and just twisted them with the mousse in it this probably would be better suited to do like on a mannequin head when you can let it dry and this is what it looks like without the product and it looks what it looks like with the product again you could just add the mousse all the way down to the end and you'd be good to go but again I was going more for a natural girl hairstyle and I absolutely love the way it came out I did repeat this step on the bangs so that it can have more of a coily look and not just the wet and wavy look and then I did the opposite side uh, off camera as well. I showed you a little bit of the start and I definitely did this side much better than the opposite side but this was my I want to say like second or third time trying this method out so I definitely love it let me know what products you think I should try out next time because it came out the bomb.com but I know I could do even better let me know your thoughts in the comments below okay ladies so we are semi done with the look I feel like we're done but of course you know, like, are we really ever, like, 100% done? Like, even when the camera goes off tomorrow, the next day, and the next after that, we're always going to find a way to print the hair and make it even better. So this one came from Ronnie. Ronnie Hair. And this was the packaging. And I really do love this wig. Now, you guys already know it's a closure wig, so biased right there but then I love that it's a bang but it's a bang with lace that way I can definitely um you know like pull it back I can even like corn roll all this straight back and it does have a good enough parting space I believe this is a five by five so you can like take it sideways and like make a goddess braid you can do many things with this even though it has the um bang to it you just have to keep in mind that like if you want to like send the hair back and like utilize that beautiful lace that we've seen um you'd have to like clip it so you can again like braid it twist it put in little ponytails um you can slick it and you can definitely come up with more options as far as like if you want to take a break from the bang but i definitely love the bang especially right now while it's raining this is just easy like throw on hair many of times when i've done curly installs on this channel you guys have definitely <laughs> made fun and be like oh you look like Rick James and that's definitely not the intention so I really wanted to give this one more of a natural girl hairstyle now I think the thing that I'm missing right now is I need a pick to be able to go in and really like make the hair big I don't want to like do no craziness to it but I definitely wanted to give like natural hair opposed to like um Rick James, you know what I mean? I want the hair to be defined and pretty, but still have that good enough amount of frizz that it doesn't look too curly. Too wet and curly with the bang definitely is not complimentary on me. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Before I go, let me give you like a quick 360 of the hair. I don't know if I'm going to do this because like I'm kind of stuck. how pretty it looks as it's getting bigger again I wanted to get bigger and keep a little bit of that definition 
those coils on the end without looking too big. Be sure to check out Ronnie Hair. Direct link to this wig is in the description box. Also there you'll find lists and links of other products we use, including that mousse that we use to define the ends. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.